Hello, and welcome to episode 15 of Crusader Kings 2, Holy Fairy, Mother Russia. We are still uh, Chernobyl Glory, the Sword of Sav Sav Savarog. Savarog. We are so close to our legend. If we could just duel this man, if he was in war. We are so close. Chilling for a second. We've got a lot of threats, so we kind of need to not go to war for a little bit. All right, here we go. For the champions of Perun, we got 100% legend. Here we go, guys. I proclaim, raising my glass. The cheers around the table are boisterous, and the air hangs heavy with anticipation. There is nothing left here to conquer, someone laughs, raising an eyebrow cons conspiratorially. <clears throat> Rasputin mutter murmurs. Have you ever been to the papacy? Oh god, of all the people. <laughs> Capital idea, Rasputin. Let's seek out fighters in the papacy. We're going to the Pope, boys and girls. We're going to the Pope. Hi, Chief Ogre has perished during his adventure. Oh no! Hi, Chief Igor of Kuroshi has perished. Oh, he died of gout. All right. Vesti approaches me as I am poring over the maps of the papacy. Ooh, which reminds me, can we flip? We can! Yes, we'll flip to war right now. Which gives us... Alright. Uh, the papacy, a servant alerts me to his visit and I glance up from the table. I notice they are carrying something wrapped in fine fabric. For the battle to come, the man says. <gasps> he gives us the masterful short sword from the treasury. Ooh, I will make certain... And we will pay you for it, dear sir. Pause for a moment. What do we have? We have a plus two axe, which is five personal combat. This is plus 15 personal combat skill. We also have an ancient crown now from our kingdoms. Or from our religion, sorry. The, the Slavic church. Which gives us tribal vassal opinion. Which is kind of awesome. Alright. So we are now... No, really? I thought it was more. Uh, yeah, dual experience, hero, masterful short sword, war focus, we're 131. We can do this, folks. As I'm soon to be off into the lands of the papacy, my marshal, Queen Karchik, is concerned from our troops being without. They should might suggest you leave your masterful short sword behind as a token of your continued guidance, she offers. If nothing else, you should have that thing sharpened, my lord, she frowns. We could use some love, I suppose. Ooh. Whoa, so it adds an upgraded short sword to the treasury. And removes masterful. We made great progress. Uh, so should we make care of it? Make progress. Make progress. I'm like, great progress? So what just happened? What did we get? Uh, we get this one, personal 16. Ooh, so it's a little more. It's plus one more, so nice. Yes, together we are stronger. Our son, Rasputin. All right, Rasputin, we are stronger together. Let's go. My concubine is pregnant, but I was away, wasn't I? Doubt besets me. I have thought it over, and I cannot be the father of my concubine, sir, kills baby. As it grows in her belly, I have trouble sleeping. I must put this matter to rest. Lose five gold? No, we just don't care. Hello, grandson. You can be... Mm, pride. Pride. We are camped on the plains on our way to the papacy. While I am scouting the perimeter, I hear the sound of fighting. As I lean out from behind a large rock, I spot a man wrestling a stag and winning. 79, 132. We can get you a challenge, clear sword. Hey, you! Yes, you! Let's fight! The stag dead on the ground. The man braces for my attack. I call out for the champions of Perun! My masterful short sword to swooshing nay, singing through the air with the trees as our audience and only, and only witnessed my deed. I have soon seen to sever his head from his body. All right, and we become better. As I snuck in the kitchen for my usual late night snack. Ooh. Oh, 
follow her to bed. Wait, how are we following her to bed when we're out on our legendary journey? Hmm. Say something clever. Sweet temptation, yes. Apparently everyone's seducing us now. Okay. Well, I guess it makes sense. All of our female vassals that are occurring now. Walking through the streets of a village in Rome, the locals seem eager to point out how foreign I am. They've clearly never seen a man like I before. And while some are adoring my armor and confident stride, it does not take long before I encounter open hostility. Go home, one man, box. You want to say that to my face? Let's fight. I draw my weapon without hesitation. The crowd scatters around us and my opponent and I fall into circling one another. The ensuing fight is more even than I care to admit. At the end, I am sending a quiet prayer to Perun as I take the cheers of our audience and slay, slam my weapon against his head. Uh, yeah. And also, we need to pick a patron deity, guys. Martial intrigue, martial stewardship. Uh, we'll take the plus two martial. Okay. Another victorious match. Faith, Corpus has been telling everyone that she saw me and Grisham will love the scandalous. What? Whatever. Uh, my. She ended our affair. Aww. My dear daughter, yes, become brave. Okay. Having spent the evening drinking and talking around the campfire with my traveling companions, I finally bed, bid them good night on my way back to my sleeping spot. I pause nearby, leaning against a large rock as a man tending nature's call. An enemy, I yell, more surprised than alarmed. You, you're dead. An albite under the influence. The battle stance comes naturally to me. My opponent staggers back with him in surprise, almost tripping over the large rock. Before he has time to catch up, I sink my masterful short sword the second into his chest. The man groans, and it takes a while before my own heart stops pounding. Then he is still. Yep, goodbye. A page. Aw, how romantic. Okay. I've partaken in a local tournament, and I've been knocking out Frankish fighters with ease. Grinning, I search the crowd for the face of Rasputin, who has been cheering me on. I find him looking a bit pale. Turning to face my final foe, I hear someone shouting an introduction. Choldoma, the monster! 79. Finally, a challenge! We'll do the tallest man you have ever seen. He's not a giant, though. The crowd is cheering loudly as the giant looms over me. All the men I have fought so far pale in comparison. You die now, the beast of a man roars, swinging a massive club. When it fails to hit me and bites the ground, the earth shakes. As he moves to lift it again, I strike. The crowd falls silent. I have been following a rumor, trying to track down what is supposed to be the most feared fighter in the papacy. A deadly fencer, I'm told. You go to your death, an innkeeper warns. Yet when he's pointed out to me, I find myself face to face with a hunched elderly man, eyeing me suspiciously. I will not go easy on you just because you're old. As the man unclasps his cloak, I gasp beneath the disguise of a poor and withered elder as an athletic and statuesque person donned in fanciful armor. He lashes out at me with his silvery sword and I almost scream in surprise. When it is over, I am bloody and out of breath. We win the duel, but we are injured. War is more important, kid. War is more important. The blood of a legend! Upon your return to Kiev, warriors and commoners alike swoon when they see you. One woman actually faints as you ride by with your entourage. The whole fortress has been dressed in celebratory banners, and your son, Car Caraton, greets you with a smile. The bards will sing of your accomplishments for generations to come. They say you took down an army of a hundred men and wild stags. We received news that some of you were taken captive, Ben. The boy's words trail off, and he composes himself. My lord, welcome home. From deeper in the fortress, the champions of Perun are singing a song of battle, its melody inviting you to celebration. Become known as the founder of a bloodline. You're a renowned hero. in 500 prestige. Ho, ho, ho. See the realm prosper. Sure. Ho, ho. We have two bloodlines now. There we go. 
Beautiful. A lot of people carry this bloodline. Interesting. All right. Legacy of Glory, the Sword of Sevrog, plus 10 personal combat, monthly prestige, point one, strategist, strategist opinion, plus five. The promoted commander decision attracts better commanders. Ooh. Ooh. So our daughter now has two bloodlines. We approve. We do, we do, we do, we do, we do. All right, let's see if Rasputin, if Rasputin survives. We are now a legendary hero. You are a most disgraceful high chief. Yes, you are. Uh, dun -dun -dun. Where is Rasputin? He's, he's, he's still around. How exciting for me by the stream alone. Sure, we'll meet you. Such a dirty mind. Come then, let's confess a few sins. Sounds good. Say something clever. Haha, -ha, the blood of a legend. They say that everyone in the capital of Kiev spent several moons preparing for the return of Ishid. The man has been the main source of interest and fascination. Oh my word, but he's smallpox, severely injured. Oh no! Characters tend to keep hunting dogs. Hunter opinion. Ooh. Dude. Dude. Invite to court. No. Send a gift. Yes. Invite to court. Yes. You're my court? We must make your bloodline continue. Um... Yes. Becomes known the founder of the bloodline. Sweet temptation, yes. No! He died from his injuries. He made a bloodline and died. He had no children. No! That was kind of cool, too, with the hunting dogs. Hunter opinion, personal combat skill, plus 15. Hounded blood. Check a soldier within a society. Huh. We have another daughter. You can be Joy. There we go. Uh, wasn't our son going on his? I mean, he's still he's still in here as a legendary, legendary hero, but nothing. And so, in a hundred years, we can do this again. So, in the eight forties, follow her to bed. We'll sleep with all the lovely ladies. How flattering! Uh, we have a daughter. Yes, legitimizer. You, you, we need to, uh, you carry our bloodlines. Mm -hmm. Help! I'm in debt to the chiefess. Okay. Ooh, religious. Yes. All right. All right. Whose prison are you in? You're in my prison. Ah, uh, sweet, sweet, such sweet words of love. Why can't I revoke your title? Ransom prisoner. Sure. You're two different men. Oh, cause you're all under him. My dear sir, you are a pagan. You are just gonna say no. You are literally gonna say no. Ooh, it's gonna be tough. So let's get our troops up a little more. Mm, how about you? Are you just by yourself? You are. Revoke title. Yes. Just give it to me. Say something clever. Sweet temptation. Yes, we will have a memorable night. Okay. Thank you for the land, kid. We will give away this province. Yes? Yes. My dear woman. Congratulations. You get Vilitus. Villainous? Villainous. Vilias? Something. Yes. 
Because we are going to take Galish and Kiev. Uh, you, you are under this kid. If I try to revoke your title, you will say maybe. Oof. How about you? If I try to revoke your title, you will say yes. Good. All right. That's what we like to see. Revoke your title. Yes. Um, how about you? Revoke your title. Yes. All right. You guys are not part of Galish. You guys are over here. So, we need some more ladies. My dear lady, you get to something. Sukhava. There we go. All right. And, oh, we need a lady. My dear. You. Congratulations, Grand The title, Ayasi. Aha. My dear ladies. There you go. Search around. We got a bunch of kids. Ooh, you're Russian. Ah, ladies are having babies. Good. We've given those two away. Okay. Who else we've got? Dejur vassals down here. We've got... That's all one. How are you? You are directly under me. Revoke title. You will say yes, because you are weak. Uh, we can only hope our lover is pregnant. Okay. We need to hire some more ladies. Ah, done. Aha! There we are. Okay, we got lots of ladies. My dear ladies, congratulations. You get Odessa. Are you individual? Or are you under that dude? You're under that kid. How about you? You're under me. Revoke title. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Very good. You are bra something? Cool. My dear Grand Lady Chidal, Chief Tomorrow of Rajlava, yes. Alright, and also we need to come here with our sons. My dear sons, you need brides. You need brides to carry on the bloodline. Huh, he's a duke. Yeah, Duke. He's been given a dukedom over here. Interesting. Or he's a count. He's been given a county over there. Rasputin. Marry... Marry her. Uh, My dear son, you're not even in my... Oh, because you went off to be in that. We will legitimize you, my dear boy. Just so we can marry you off uh, yeah, go marry her. That's fine. Just so we can marry you off. Alright. And spread our bloodlines. Alright. Uh, why did the other guy that we win us, why did he have to die? Uh, he's in our realm. Okay, wait. Uh, direct vessels. Ayasi, you, you are properly Slavic, good. You are properly Slavic, you are the proper, you're a Tengri. Really, woman? That's fine, I can award designated regent. I can send you a gift. Demand religious conversion, no. Oh, too many held duchies, but we'll get rid of the extra ones first real quick. Uh, what do we have? We have Glish, Kiev. Rostov? Why do we have Rostov? Oops. Our lover. Yes, my dear lover, you can have Rostov. Congratulations. We also have... Moldavia? Moldavia. My dear lady. 
Grand Line of Title, High Chieftain of Moldavia. Yes. There you go. You're probably gonna go seduce us. I'm gonna bet. I love how she's. Yep, Master Seductor said 16. That's <laughs> just the way the game rolls. All right, demand religious conversion. Yes, you're not the right culture, but I'll take it. There we go. You want to be our religion anyway, my dear. Um, your kids are not the proper religion, though. Ooh, assign guardian me. What? What? Oh, because it's him. You, I don't like you. But I will send you a gift. Demand. Oh, I can't demand religious. Con oh, because you're under him. Well. Well, 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 well. We're going to deal with you guys. We are going to deal with you guys. Soon enough. Soon enough. We speed up some time. We can worship the ancestors. Let's do that. Uh, guide my sword in battle. You've become dull but brawny, kid. Okay. Um, goodbye, prisoner. May the ancestors give us their blessing. Let's see, buildings. Kev, training grounds, rank four, please. Um, in training grounds for our special yielding. In case you didn't know, you can actually build your special unit type buildings now. It is possible. Um, let's give our special, yeah, special unit. All right. And our dear child needs to struggle. Oh, so cool. It was a different bloodline. I'm so sad. I'm so sad. The thing is, we could have gotten him into our court. We could have married him matrilineally into one of our family, or at least given him, you know, some concubines and made him babies. It's really all we wanted. Huh. Follow her to bed. You know, we're just, you're just sleeping with our, our concubines, our concubines, our, <laughs> our, uh, ladies. You want us to go raiding down here? Sure. Dudes, are you guys grabbing more land for us? Hmm, doesn't look like it. What help would be grab all this from Magyars? Can we go to war with you again? Uh, no. No. He's like, no, 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 no. Not doing it. Out of curiosity, though, how many could we grab? A holy War. That's two. That's two. That's two. One. Two. One. Three. You have three, but yeah, we're not gonna fight the world for you. I would like to form Mother Russia, but we ain't fighting the world. Say something clever. Cool. Sweet temptation, yes. All right, raise up the troops. Uh, no! Well, Chernenberg has been cursed. Today I made a senseless mistake in the sparring ring. It's devastating consequences. My opponent was not ready and his blade easily cut through my armor. Have my ancestors withdrawn their protection? No! We'll be maimed and we gain the trait severely injured. Oh no! Mangled! Oh, I see something. Yeah, no. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Uh. Huh. Why do you have no bloodline, kid? I wonder.
wonder. Who's your father? Why? Why? That's our son-in-law. Okay. Same kid, same parents. Why do you have the bloodlines? Huh. Will be interesting. Alrighty. Well, I'm going to end this episode here. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know. Subscribe to the channel and help it grow. Bye, y'all.